Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Two answers. I've used both sugar and orange juice to sweeten mulled wine in the past, but obviously orange juice would change the flavor significantly. Add more sugar slowly, tasting as you go. In a pinch, when cold thirsty guests are waiting, port sweetens things up and adds a deep rich flavor. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Unless you keep it boiling for a while it won't lose much alcohol content. While pure ethanol does evaporate quickly at a relatively low temperature, the lower the alcohol content gets, the more slowly does more alcohol evaporate at that temperature. Mold wine will typically have between 8 and 13 percent ABV. Take our lead. The citrus scents evoke memories of satsumas and that orange in the toe of the Christmas stocking. Woody spices like ginger, cinnamon and cloves remind us of Christmas cake and mince pies baking in the oven. If you'd like to spend Christmas with a gentle background scent of mulled wine, try our new reed diffuser. Take our lead. Many wines contain similar flavors to mulled wine. They can share fruity, tart, sweet and smoky notes. However, mulled wine's flavors are more robust due to the added ingredients. Mulled wine is almost always sweeter and fruitier in flavor due to both the added sugar and the fruit used to create the drink. Make your mark, take our lead. What type of wine to use for mulled wine? Since mulling wine disguises a lot of the nuances of taste, don't pick a delicate flavored wine such as Pinot Noir or Gamay. Instead, go for bigger, bolder, full-bodied red wines such as Syrah and Malbec. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.